Hey, what's up, YouTube? We have the indefinite integral of sine 2x divided by 1 plus cosine squared x. Let's go ahead and work through it. So the one thing that really sticks out is the sine 2x. That's kind of a problem. So one idea is to use some type of identity on the bottom here with 1 plus cosine squared. Um, the problem with that is that you'll still have the sine 2x. Another idea is to just make a u sub. Check this out. So u is 1 plus, and I'm going to write it like this, cosine x quantity squared. Same thing as cosine squared. I just did that to make it a little more clear. Now when we compute du, the derivative of 1 is 0. We have to use the power and the chain rule here, right? We bring the 2 down. We leave the cosine x untouched. That's the inside function. We subtract 1, so we get 1. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of cosine is negative sine x. And then here we have a dx. So here's where the cool stuff happens. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by negative 1. So we have 2. I'm going to put the sine first. Sine x, cosine x, dx. And this is totally rigged because 2 sine x cosine x is actually sine 2x. It's a trig identity, right? So this problem is completely rigged. So it's set up to work. It's great. Um, so this becomes negative du, right? That This whole piece here is negative du, and the bottom piece is just u. And whenever you have du over u, that's just an ln. So this is negative natural log absolute value of u, but u is just 1 plus cosine squared. And then we have our plus c. Kind of a tricky problem because um, if you don't see this right away, you might hesitate to try this. So sometimes um, you, should write stuff, you should write stuff down and then just go with it and see what happens. So that's it.